What's up, you guys? Happy Monday to you. Yeah, so we uh we got this package that just came in, and that's pretty crazy because I just came outside and it just got delivered not too long ago. But uh, we're going to hit the woods today. I want to try out this GoPro uh, camera. I learned how to put it on the 16.9 view, which is like the wider view, thanks to one of my uh, commenters on YouTube here. And uh, I'm going to have it on the 1080 resolution with the 60 FPS, and it's going to be on linear um to begin with anyway and uh let me see uh, yeah let's look at this here so we got the two the two 330 county bear tracks with some man those are some heavy duty trap setters great they those things are big those are bigger than the one dan gave me so i'll be able to give him back his trap setters and uh got the potato rake over here it's probably going to kick the bucket soon because it's getting loose down there at the end. <laughs> I'll be doing some hard work with that joker. Got the tripod in the bag. and We're going to hit the woods and, and see what, what's in store for us today. <laughs> so stay tuned. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. <laughs> you see that setup? Yeah, I know it's ghetto. But we're going to make it work. I got the GoPro in the camera mount for the handheld tripod until the GoPro adapter that causes it to mount to this tripod comes. I think it's supposed to come today, but until it comes, we gonna make it work in here. All right, <laughs> let's get to it. So you guys, I'm on my side of the road right now. We're looking at the creek from the road, and today I'm gonna be on the other side of the road over here, um, walking alongside the creek, checking out to see if there's any dams this way. And on this side of the road, um, I had a, a father-like figure who he passed years ago who lived on this side of the road. Rest in peace, Mr. Bob. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're going we gonna to check it out. I actually got a, a riding path over here that um, I haven't been down in a while because it always stays wet over here. So we're going to check back here when I get closer to where I remember some dams being at because i've tore out quite a few dams on this side as well um i don't know maybe a year or so ago but we're gonna see what it looks like i'll check back in so i'm in an area right now that if there was uh one of the dams that i'm thinking about being built up this would all be water all out here all of this would be water but looking at this water, it's flowing pretty good, wouldn't you say? And I've already passed by where I know two of them used to be that I had tore out. But we're gonna we're gonna keep walking. I'm gonna keep it recording. Um, let's see. Yeah, this water usually would be backed up. If oh wait a minute, it's looking different out here. Looking real different. Okay, so. I hadn't been out here in a while, so okay, so let me let me keep let me keep uh, walking. I don't know if my boots is tall enough to go through this. Wee -hee -hee. <laughs> Hold up. Man, yes, yeah, it's, it's a struggle carrying the potato rake and trying to hold this tripod and record. <laughs> so man, I almost tripped and fell in the water. <laughs> oh Lord. That would have been funny for camera. But, okay, so this area, this area right here, I don't know if you can tell, but it's sort of banked up on the side. If they would have had the dam down there where I tore it out, built back up, all of this would be water as well. It would be backed up full of water. So they hadn't been active down here. It's a good thing. This right here, is where they had it dammed up at but it's not it's not dammed up awesome don't look like they've been back here for a while probably since the last time i've been back here but i keep walking with the water um i don't know i think about two no not two years ago last year the state bought an excavator out here in the woods and right through the woods here is where they started digging out the creeks from where the storms had uh, thrown down a bunch of 
trees around the creek or into the creek and they they cleared out a lot of the beaver dams further down this way we were walking so i didn't have to worry about that but they didn't come my way i guess it was just a part of the contract that they had to do that they didn't come on my side of the road but anyway i'm gonna check back in again let me pause the recording all right just for trial purposes i got the view on wide instead of linear so I'm just gonna see how this one setting is for just this little place here. Um, this is another place that would be sort of high in water if there was a, a dam built where I'm thinking one is usually at. Let's keep walking. It's usually here, other side of this tree. Wow, that thing is, yeah, they, they haven't been active. They have not been active at all. There's usually one right here. And I mean, there's like nothing there. No sticks or nothing. That's crazy. But good. <laughs> so, actually, this is about the furthest that I usually go. Um, you know, looking for dams. But I'm going to keep walking. Oh, man, look at this. Look at my... <laughs> Uh, uh, okay we got out of it <laughs> i'm gonna keep walking i'm gonna keep walking that's interesting i don't think the beavers did this though i think it's just where um limbs have fell across and the water is sort of going around it and crashing around man this creek makes all kind of twist and turn <laughs> oh yeah so now the camera is back on linear view so we're, we're looking at it with linear view I, I thought this right here was sort of scenic the way that the creek is uh turning and then you got that little limb laying across there which isn't good but <laughs> i thought it was a pretty cool view so we're going we're going to keep walking. I hadn't seen anything yet. I guess all the beavers is on my side. <laughs> so I was walking through the woods. I saw this uh, tree here. That's pretty old. As you can see, the, I don't know if that's fungus or whatever that's growing on it. But you can see where the beavers cut it down. So that's some of their old, their old workings. <laughs> so I'm still walking along the creek. And uh, I don't know. I see from a distance almost looks like a tree that maybe the beavers was trying to gnaw on oh oh yeah <laughs> really are you serious they was working on that monster look at that you guys look at that they was working on it at some point in time it looks pretty old now but they got that one that looks old too. Oh wow. But they definitely got that one. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. That tree right there is bigger than the trees that I saw at work where they was tearing down trees by the pond. And so I guess they were trying to make it fall out there to the creek. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. That is definitely crazy. Well, I'm gonna keep walking a little bit further because I'm definitely getting into some area that I've never been in. So we'll see what becomes of the journey. So I'm looking and everything seems to be flowing pretty good. Like I said, I've I've never been this far uh, in the woods. And so like just looking at the, the pattern of the creek is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool to me. I've I've not seen it make all of these turns like this. That's crazy. I guess that's nature's path for the water to run. And it's running like it needs to. Well, you guys, things are still looking good. And uh, I think this is the furthest I'm going to go. And I'm going to head back on to my side and check out my side, see what things look like over there. So we'll check back in when I get over there. So I'm on my side of the road now. I calculated with my GPS on my phone that I walked about half a mile into the woods on the other side of the road. So that was a full mile of walking. 
I'm getting some exercise in <laughs> today for sure. Like I said, I didn't see no beaver dams over on that side, which is a good thing. And uh, we're coming up on the first dam that I had tore out where I had used the chainsaw. Of course, I used the chainsaw at both of them, but it looks good. Water's flowing. That's the other thing too. It's been raining, you guys, like constantly, constantly raining. That's another reason why the water is flowing so good. It has just been raining, raining, raining. But we're coming up on the next dam here. As you can see, the water's flowing good. No activity. Thank God. <laughs> it's, it looks like it's washing it out. I know some of you guys say that. Um, you know, the water wash it out and it's definitely doing so there. So that's a good thing. We're going to go down to the dam that I dug out with the, with the back hole. Check that one out. So as I was getting ready to enter where I dug out with the back hole over here, I'm listening. And I hear that, that crow or blackbird or whatever. But I hear some, be quiet bird. I'm trying to talk to the people. <laughs> but I hear some water crashing that way. So after I check this out over here, we gonna walk down there and see what's going on down there. Might get a little bit of action today. <laughs> I don't wanna have to work, but it is what it is. And so this is, this is flowing right nice. Thank God, no activity there. And walk along creek here through the thorns that I always get poked on. And like I said, um, what's his name? Ivy. Yeah, he's doing the trapping. He's doing some trapping back up the creek where that big dam was. So I'm sorry I can't entertain you with that. I don't want to get on any of his traps and upset what he's doing over there. So, uh, man, that dam, they definitely got it rebuilt. I can see it. <laughs> man, I, I, I want to go over there, but I ain't, I ain't going to go over there. Um, I leave it alone, but we go we go walk up the creek That way where I hear the water crashing all right Yeah, this is one of my ATV trails around the field I'm gonna try to go pro on my helmet Sometime or another too. I want to see how that looks riding, but I hear water crashing pretty hard Can you hear it? Man, there's a lot of thorns over here Oh boy, yeah. They got one. Oh man, you can't see it though, can you? Let me walk around here. I think I had dug this one out a while ago with the backhoe too. Because it's in a hard to get to place. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, that's, that's in a bad place to try to work on right there you guys i think i had dug out with the back hole right here before but as far as going down there i don't think i'm going to go down there notice i said i don't think i i really don't think i am <laughs> seriously bro. I'm, I'm gonna check it out let me check it out see what's going on well you guys i have uh carefully examined my surroundings and I can't tackle this dam with my little boots because I have to literally get in the water to tear that out. There's no way I can stand on the sides or even get on the other side to tear this out. So I don't know. I have to leave it for the back hole sometime or another. But I hope you've enjoyed this little journey with me on today, <laughs> even though we didn't tear down any dams. but. We got to do a little sightseeing. <laughs> and uh, you guys stay blessed. And we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>